Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're just going to be doing something fun. We're just going to do a quick little Valentine's Day tutorial. I thought I would shake it up a little bit, so we're not just going to be doing just a traditional kind of red pink look. I'm going to add in a couple of other tones to go along with it. Before we jump into that, let me tell you what I have as far as the rest of my makeup and everything that I'm using came out of this month's Shop My Stash. I'll drop that video down below in case any of you guys missed it or aren't interested in watching it. I also have the Shop My Stash playlist down there as well. Now for my primers, I'm using a combination of two. Both of these primers are from Essence. The first one is the Fix and Last Jelly Gripping Primer. It's not like super grippy like the one from e.l.f., but I really do love the way this one feels on the skin. It's mattifying yet hydrating at the same time. It feels very cooling and refreshing. I freaking love this one. And the other one is the Poreless partner primer. This one is a mattifying blurring primer and the two of these together have just been absolutely beautiful under makeup. For foundation, I am using my Skin Insurance Foundation from JCAT Beauty in Mocha. This is one of my absolute favorite foundations of life and for like concealing and color correcting. The color corrector is coming from this little palette. This is the Contour and Conceal palette from Relove, which is a branch of Makeup Revolution. This is the color corrector up here and I've been absolutely loving it. And then I'm using that with my Mora Concealer. This one is the lavish creamy concealer i cannot read the shade is like so super tiny but i've been loving these two together as well for my powders i'm using from revolution this is my blur brighten powder i'm loving this for underneath the eyes and for all over i'm using the mora loose setting powder this is in translucent one thing about this powder it's a little bit unusual it mattifies so when it sets down, my face is matte, but there's also like a little bit of a glow. You can probably see it right now in the camera. So it's not like a flat matte. It's really, really pretty on the skin. I didn't use a cream bronzer. I meant to, but I completely forgot. I went from foundation straight into powder, but I am wearing for my powder bronzer, Wet n Wild Color Icon in What Shady Beaches. This is one of my absolute favorite bronzer products of life. For blush, I'm using this shade out of, this is a Kiko Milano Romantic Love. I think this says the Ruby Chic duo in Romeo and Juliet. So this is the shade that I'm using on my cheek right now. Such a beautiful cream blush formula. And then for the highlighter, I'm using from Fainty Beauty. This is the Kilowatt Highlighter in Chic Freak. So this is the shade that I'm using right now. I wanted something really icy pink and I think that looks really, really pretty. And I gave myself a little spritz of setting spray with the Kimchi Chick Stage Proof Matte Setting Spray. All right, now let's jump into putting together our eye look. I'm going to start things off by priming my eyes using my eyeshadow primer from ColourPop. This is the Party Proof Eyeshadow Primer in Caramel. For this eye look, I'm going to be using a combination of two palettes. The first one is the Love Notes palettes from Beauty Bay. This one just has a collection of very soft purples and pinks. You also have a couple of dramatic shades down here. This purple right here I'm going to be using in this eye look. The other palette I'm going to be pulling from is from Nomad. This is the Verona Amour and Morte palette, the Love and Death palette. This one is two-sided. This was their Valentine's Day release in 2023. As you can see, we have two sides. Over here is our Love Verona side, and then over here is the Morte, the Death side. We're mainly going to be focusing on this one. I might pull something from here, but I think mainly it's going to come from here. The first shade that we're going to be dipping into is Glove. This is the deep purple shade from the Beauty Bay palette. And I'm going to use my Beauty Bay detailed brush here and just going to lay that down on the outer corner. I'm just going to focus this shade on the outer portion of the eye right here and just slowly start blending it. I kind of want it to be kind of winged out a little bit on the outer corner. I'm going to take a red shade that I'm going to blend it in going into the crease. This shade blends out so beautifully. Do you see that? I freaking love Beauty Bay eyeshadows. They're a very inexpensive brand, yet all of their products are just absolutely gorgeous. And I did order the Reckless Romance palette, which is on the way. Last update in tracking, it cleared customs. You know, it's coming from the UK. I live in the US, so it has to go through customs. So hopefully it'll be here sometime this week. If it does, then I will film and get that video up next weekend. Unfortunately, it'll be after Valentine's Day, but you know, that's fine. No big deal. Next, I'm going to go into my Nomad palette, and the shade that we're going to dip into is Love, which is this bright red shape shade in the middle. I'm going to take my Detail Crease Brush from Real Techniques. We're just going to kind of dip into that shade, tap off the excess, and I'm going to take this shade and focus it in the crease, but I want to keep 
that bright red so I don't want to blend it out too much you know sometimes reds can blend out into pinks but can, which can be frustrating and I want this to stay red so we're just going to softly blend it just a little bit into the purple softly kind of twirling that brush the two shades just have a nice little gradient from one shade to the other but we don't lose too much of the red i'm loving how the two formulas from the two different palettes are actually blending together really well whenever i pull my palettes from a shop my stash this is basically what i do i just kind of mix and match everything rarely do i use just one palette for a look i kind of mix at least two or three together i'm going to lay just a little bit more down and like I said, we're just softly blending because I want to maintain that red. And wow, that is looking really, really pretty. So far, the look is coming out exactly the way that I was wanting it to. I'm dipping back into my Beauty Bay palette. I just want to add a little bit more on the inner corner. Just blend these two shades out just a little bit more. So do any of you guys have any like big plans for Valentine's Day? My husband and I decided we're just going to like pick out a nice little Italian restaurant, just go out and have something Italian. We're not really going to do anything like super fancy or anything like that. But definitely let me know down in the comments what plans you guys have, if any, for the day. To brighten up the inner portion of the eye just a little bit, we're going to go into Angel, which is in the Beauty Bay palette. I'm just going to kind of lighten this inner portion just a bit. I'm using the small pointed crease brush from Perfusion, by the way, to lay down this shade. I'm going to go back in with just a little bit more red, just right in here. Kind of lost just a little bit. Now for our shimmers, the first shade is going to come out of the Nomad palette, and it's going to be Cupid, which is this really pretty kind of a shifty purple to blue silver. So pretty. And we're going to blend that one into Pillow, this shade right here which we're going to be pulling out of the beauty bay love notes palette so the first thing we're going to do is lay down some glitter base and i'm going to use my base booster from bh cosmetics i'm going to lay that down with this flat brush from profusion i like to lay down some kind of a glitter glue glitter base first because it really helps the shimmers to pop i'm just going to lay that right here where i'm going to be laying my shimmers down so just right here in the lid, kind of cut creasy, kind of at an angle too, because I don't like my shimmers to go up and down. I like them to kind of have a little bit of an angle on the eyelid. Now I'm just going to do one eyelid at a time so that way the glue doesn't dry down on me. I'm going to take the same sticky side. We're going to dip into Cupid. I'm just going to start laying that down on the lid. This is more of kind of like a glitter based topper. I mean, look at that. Ooh, that shade is so pretty. To finish off the shadows, I'm going to take my Blend Bunny B3. This is just a small little detail brush, and we're going to go into Pillow and lay that down in the inner corner, and then we are going to be all done with the shadows. That is going to be it for the shadows. I'm going to go off camera, do my liner, my lips, my waterline, all that jazz, and we'll come back and we'll see the final look all put together. We're back. Final look is complete. What do you guys think? I'm loving the way everything came together. Let me tell you what I used to finish up this look. For my waterline, I am using from Beauty Bay. This is the shade Aura, I believe it is. Aurora. It's just a very bright kind of iridescent purple i thought that would be really pretty in the, in the waterline with this look for my wing i'm using my nyx epic ink liner in black my lashes are from timu the ones that i have on my face are actually from a, a different set it's not from this set i just kind of put them in here but i love the fact that these like really wing out i don't know if you can see it but how they're like super long on the outside and just really really wing out they make such a pretty dramatic look I thought that would go really, really well with this eye look. I went ahead and pulled out the actual set that these lashes go with so I can put them in the right container. But this is what they look like full. As you can see, they're really, really long. I had to cut off like a whole bunch on the end, but they still flare out so beautifully. Just absolutely gorgeous. My lips are a combination of the Blend Bunny Creamy Lip Liner. I don't know what the shade is. This is from the very first batch that went out. There was a mistake in the packaging, so the shade names weren't placed on 
the pencils like they were supposed to be so i'm not exactly sure what the shade is anything that's still available i will try to link it down below and if this is still available i think it is i'll make sure the shade name is listed down there my overall lip shade is the matte lip cream from beauty bunny and this shade is in like a pro it's just a really kind of dramatic brick warm red i just really love the way that this look came together i think it looks so pretty it's exactly what i was imagining let me know down in the comments what you think if you enjoyed this little tutorial if you found it helpful please surely give the video a thumbs up it does help with getting my videos into recommendations if you're new to the channel you're not already subscribed i would love it if you would consider joining a little family and hitting subscribe be sure to tap the bell so you don't miss a thing and you can also follow me on my other socials i'm on tiktok instagram and facebook be safe take care of yourself and i'll see you in the next one Bye.